My name's Zach, and I'll be giving you a quick tour of Haiku, which is a design tool for animated and interactive user interfaces. What makes Haiku different is the way it connects design and code. Even after your designs are part of a code base, you can keep iterating on them directly from your design tools. Haiku lets designers and developers work on the same products together. So let's get started. Here's Haiku for Mac, where you can see I already have a project going. I'm just going to hit preview mode here so I can step through the interactions. All of these animations and interactions were created here in the Haiku design tool. And you can see that the centerpiece of Haiku is motion. It's easy to add precise animations using Haiku's timeline. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and make Percy uh, flip. So let's go ahead and uh, create a keyframe. I'm going to go into the future here and specify what I want Percy's rotation to be. I can do that visually, or I can do that precisely and numerically. And then I can create a motion tween. Just right click, create a tween. I can now drag my scrubber here and see how Percy rotates over time. Or I can play back and see it all in action, or go back into preview mode and see it all, including the interactions. Another thing I can do with Haiku is keep editing these assets. They all started in Sketch. And here I can see the original file. Every one of these artboards and slices is available in Haiku's library over here. And even after they're on my stage, I can make changes. So for example, I'm going to just replace all the colors and take pink Percy and make him forest green. Save it, go back to Haiku, and there it is, updated. Animations and again, interactions still intact. So great. Uh, now that I'm happy with my design, I want to get this into my Teams app. So I hit publish here. And this link that will show up in a second is all that I need to start working with a developer. I'm just going to follow the link. And here I see my up to the moment Percy, green and back flipping and all. Now I just need to share this link with the developer. They can load the page, then follow the instructions down here to embed in any web, iOS, or Android app. Let's see what that looks like. Here we have a React app for Percy Banking. And it's a simple form app, but we've decided that we would like a welcome tour. Uh, so that's where Percy comes in. So all we have to do here is add a couple of lines of code. Save it. And there we have it. Percy's already in our app. I can interact, drop the coin in the pig, and then move on to my form. Cool. So that's how easy it was to add to the app. Now, if I want to make changes, all I have to do is a designer, go back to Haiku, make a change, either in Sketch or in Haiku, republish, and all the developer has to do is pull the latest by command line. But we can take this even further. Let's check out some of Haiku's developer power features. Here, I'll set up my React project on my machine so I can live reload my Haiku design inside my code base. So I'm going to just npm link. And that's that. Let's go over to Haiku. And I'm just going to make a change. I'm going to make Percy start upside down. Wait for it. Oh, did you see that? Percy was upside down. Cool. Um, now I'm going to do, I'm going to open up Sketch. I'm going to make another color swap. Let's go brown this time. Place, save, give it a second. Cool, Percy's brown. I just live designed my app from Sketch. This is just a taste of what you can do when design and code are connected. So how does this all work? The technical crux of it is this. 
Haiku's design file format is just code. I'll show you what I mean. Check out what happens here when I change this easing curve. Instead of uh, in and out, I want linear. Here's a live feed of what's going on. Looks like that, that, that changed a line of code. It's no longer easing and out circ, it's now linear. Or I want to change the starting rotation again to like uh, minus 2 pi. There it goes again, just code. This is why I can do these live updates between design tool and code. Because with Haiku, design is code. I can even crack open a Haiku file and make a change. Let's go. I'm going to change all of the whites to good old uh, CSS blanched almond. Okay, save it. And everything that used to be white is now blanched almond, both in Haiku and back in my app as well. I'll show one more thing here. Haiku automatically tracks designer's work with Git. When a designer publishes, back over here in Haiku, that's just a git push. Using the Haiku command line, you can even just clone directly from Haiku servers. Finally, the tech that makes all of this work. The interpreter that renders this code as animated components, the very core of Haiku, is fully open source, MIT license. This is all of Haiku's rendering logic, all of its file format, everything you need to work with Haiku, even without the app. We believe that design should be more like code, in many ways, and open formats is just one of those. Your designs should be yours. Walled gardens are for yesterday, not tomorrow. We're really excited to see what you make with Haiku. Come check us out. That's www.haiku.ai.